Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Solid Content and welcome to Final Factory. This is it. It's the last one. Factory is now done. Fa this is the last factory you'll ever need. Yeah, I was told that this is like Factorio meets RimWorld. So I'm going to like see, you know, what that is. Like, let's see if that's true. Let's see if that's real. Let's dive in and just a heads up for those of you who do or don't like this style. I'm going in blind. I'm, that's it. I'm closing my eyes. Um, standard world seed. I just like whip that up a little bit and maybe like put, um, uh, does this mess it up if I put real words in here? Can somebody who knows coding tell me if doing this like breaks the the randomized seed thing? Objectives on. Enemy difficulty. Let's go standard. Attack versus be standard. Hopefully there's some sort of tutorial. I am. I'm. Welcome, I'm not. Oh, that was fast. You have oh, been hi. sent to these deep reaches of the cosmos to oh. grow. Yes, I shall grow. Through a dark leviathan, you have come. Oh. And you must consume all there <laughs> is in this space to find oh my goodness. way through another. Okay, so I'm kind of like a, um, like a demon or something? Not a demon, but like a universe. Uh, like, a, like like the aliens in Independence Day. That's what I am. I consume, I consume resources, and then I move on to another star system. So I may, I'm cosplaying a little bit as like a bad guy. What I was trying to say is like I'm not very good at Factorio style games. So this is going to be like what it's like to play this game, uh, to watch somebody play this game who's not good at these games. Okay. Um, prepare to clear an, the area of enemies. Follow the indicator to the nearby bauxite asteroid. Okay. I think that's what this is, bauxite asteroid. Okay, yeah, filled with bauxite ore for mining. Oh, it kind of pops up down here. Sort of just a hover over. Okay, that's cool. Hold right click on the asteroid to begin mining it. Move to collect the ore before it disappears. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, this is fun. It's a very like um, uppity, <laughs> uppity style. <laughs> Craft four bats to prepare for combat. All right, uh, open the crafting panel by pressing E or clicking the blinking icon in the lower right. Okay, that's the crafting icon. Under the categories, click combat ships, E, combat ships. Uh, and under the ship's recipes, click by blinking the ship four times. Two, three, four. Make them for me. Oh, and here they are. Do they follow me? Yeah, they follow me. Okay, this is great. I don't know if this is like RimWorld meets Factorio. This might be more like HomeWorld meets Factorio in my opinion, but I just started playing it. It's not Homeworld in that it's not 3D space, but like even just this build menu felt something, I mean, I don't know, I haven't played Homeworld in a long time, so maybe not. All right, let's go get this box out. Okay, when you have four bats in your fleet, you can use the Frenzy ability. Click V and use your Frenzy ability. Yeah, but what if we also had two more in our... <laughs> Where are they? There we are, yeah, come on out. Oh, I see. It's like all the components needed to build them. Okay, so what's frenzy mode? V. Uh, oh. So they just go and do that. It only takes four of them. So I, I built two extras for no reason, really. Okay, this looks like enemies. Spawn stinger enemies in the area. Okay. If you need to get something or get away from something quick, use your afterburner. Press space to use your afterburner. Oh, cool. Oh, it's, it's powered down. <laughs> Even if you lose your fleet, you are not defenseless. Press C to select plasma bolt and hold left click to fire. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. V, frenzy mode. Okay, I want to check my audio. Because I. Oh, wait, let's see. Nice. Oh, got some research points for that. I want to check my audio because I'm not hearing, like, music playback. Let's lower the music playback. Sound effects playback. Let's raise that a little bit. Ambient sounds. Yeah, I want to hear some like ambient sounds. Okay, there we go. Um, all right, return. Yeah, I'm not hearing like gunfire. Uh, but maybe that's it's pre-alpha, so it's not done yet. Maybe there'll be a little bit more gunfire in a second here. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. Get me whatever that is. Oh, those are my little guys following. Okay. Oh, you see, they go and attack. Maybe if I zoom in. Yeah, no, I'm not hearing gunfire. That might be an issue with my game. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully that's, uh, hopefully I don't have to like restart. I might try a restart just to check. But like so far this is, it's quite fun. It's like a lot more active than I thought it would be, I guess. Like there's a lot more to do. And I'm also seeing, what's the, oh, space bar for that, C for that. So what's this one here? Guardian requires knights. A group of knights will shield me. Obliterator requires Krylos. Krios or Krillos. Krillos, dude, come together to form a massive disk of energy that will fire the target in direction. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Okay, so there's clearly a lot to unlock here. Let's get those research points. 
Uh, what does it say here? Open the technology panel by press pressing T. Select the first research by clicking the mining logistics tile. Uh, mining logistics tech. Yeah, I guess. Kind of want to do what I want, but that's all right. Is this mining logistics tech? Yes, research. Open the crafting panel and select the structure category and select mining structure. Okay, mining structure. How many times can I do? I'm going to do it two times. <laughs> so what has it done? Um, in order to place structures, you need a construction bot. to uh, Open the crafting panel by pressing E. Select the working ships category and select a working ship. Okay, working ship. Constructo bot. What do I need? A small ship core. Oh, whoops. I just kept pre I just spammed it a couple times by accident. So I need to gain... Oh, now oh, we just did it. And now I got a bunch of Constructo bots. Okay. Follow the arrow to fly near the bauxite asteroid. Open the crafting panel by pressing E. Select your mining structure in your inventory on the line. Blah, 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 blah. So close the crafting panel. Okay. E. I already made a oh, mining station recipe. Oh my goodness. This is going to be cool. So you make stations. Okay. With the structure selected. Uh, oh, here. Okay, can I close, hang on, can I close, can I close this, but still have this menu open? Nope. So how do you, okay, wait, how do you, uh, da, 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 how do I place it? Oh, cool. So like there? All right, go do it, guys. Oh, that was quick, eh? Uh, removing the, mi remove the mining structure. Oh, there's little videos too. Oh, that's fun. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, removing the structure lets you put it back in your inventory. Fly near your structure. Press and hold right click on the mining structure. Remove all mining structures. Oop. There we are. So now, okay, replace your mining structure near the bauxite asteroid. I thought I did. Okay, now that you've learned how to remove structures, place it again. Select the mining structure inventory. Left click by clicking it with the structure. So, oh, I can close it. Okay, 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 okay. Click, close. Nice. Sick. Okay. Now, does it need, I assume it needs to be green. Let's play the video. Okay, structure, close it. Oh, and he kind of places it far away. Okay, done. Okay, gather iron ore for a solar panel. Okay, let's go find some iron ore. Space bar! Space bar! Okay, now it's out. All right, let's guards, gather some iron here. Yeah, so like some of the, some of the sounds work, but the others are uh, like the combat weapon sounds maybe aren't in yet, but I'm assuming that's a plan. Now I just want to check, like did I turn off the music or something? No, it's just in between music. Okay. So you're just, the only thing you can listen to right now are the dulcet tones of my beautiful voice. Uh, open the crafting panel, solar panel. Oh, no, wait. Uh, wait. Do we have to research it? No. Solar panel. There it is. Going to craft two of them. Why not? I think it shows me how much I can craft, but like based on the resources I have. So let's like get some more iron. Nothing's stopping us from getting more resources. Oh, I see. Yeah, they don't last very long. So you got to get them quick. Okay. All right. Okay. This is awesome. I really like the flow of this game. Open the crafting panel. Select solar panel from your inventory. Pressing R will rotate the structure. Make sure to rotate the solar panel such that the placement arrow is pointing at the structure you want it to connect to. Move your cursor to the arrow. Blah, blah, blah. Left click to place the structure. Okay. I mean, I should probably be listening. I shouldn't just say blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it's got a face towards it and be on top of it, I guess. Can I do shift click? No. Hee, hee, hee. Hee, hee, hee. We don't have the resources for that. <laughs> okay, let me make one more. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay, right click. All right, there we go. We got two solar panels on this little station here. Okay, that's a lot of fun. Follow the indicator to the nearby silica asteroid. Hold right click, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wait, what for? Gather silica ore for mining. Oh, because we don't have mining bots. We have constructo bots. All right, silica asteroid. Let's do that. Okay, good so far. Get some silica. Let's give me another round of silica. Just give me a couple rounds of silica, you know what I mean? All right, let's go make some bots. Fly near your mining structure, open the crafter panel, blah, 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 find and craft miner bots. Okay. Um, I kind of, I missed the music. It's just like, it's just my own voice now. How many, how many do you want me to make? Because I want to make six. Because you're telling me to make four, and like, I feel maybe like I want to do, I want to live my own life, you know what I mean? Like, I want six. Might be a bad idea, but do I get to keep this fleet? That's the real question. Oh, I see. This thing only supports four, I guess. 
Oh, close that video. Uh, maybe. Because I still have this and <laughs> this mining bot sticking around. Uh, collect bauxite ore from mining structure. Fly near the mining structure. Left click the mining structure. Open the structure panel. Control click the bow 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 bow. Okay. Get rid of the mining bots in your fleet. Fly to a mining structure without mining bots or build a new mining structure. Click on the mining structure. Open the building menu. Click on the blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's make another mining station. Oh, I have a few. Let's make some of those. Station core recipe. Cool. Uh, I think we have kind of everything we need to get some more mining stations going. So let's do this. And where's my mining station inventory? Click control. Yes, give me all that. Tab closed that as well. Get rid of the mining bots. Shortcut to give it all valid ships. You can also destroy bots by holding right click. Yeah, but I don't want to. I'm gonna go get like I want an iron mining you know station going on here. So let's go E, uh, stage, close E. See, I'm getting it. I'm getting it, dudes. All right, let's get some solar panels in here. E, one there, and one there. There we are. And then uh, H. Is that not what you are? Are you not a mining ship? Ah, uh, okay, so it didn't care to just, that H button didn't seem to work. Okay, let's make another mining uh, drone or something. Uh, working ships, give me a couple more miney boys so we can get more iron. Craft a connector. Connectors connect structures into stations and move items from one structure to another. Oh no, here we go. It's getting Factorio on me now. But also, I like that the, um, give me that iron. I like that the, uh, music has come back. That's nice. Okay. So, who's, like, what's my station? Where do I want to make this sta this first sta station? Maybe back here, I guess. So, connectors. I gotta make three. Four. I'm gonna make four of them. Open the crafting panel and select the connector inventory. Place the connector against the mining station. Okay, here we go. We have begun. The music is telling us we have... We have started to make our very own space station. I've done it. Oh, it fills up with turds. Oh, no, that's bauxite. Ew. <laughs> cargo holds are useful. Craft a cargo hold. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, cargo hold. Give me like four of those or whatever, three. Okay, so it fills up with turds, after which we are going to... I thought it was going to be like people walking around. There's, this is not a people kind of game. All right, give me that. Can I place it here? No, just on the end of this. I need like a T intersection. So I'm gonna place that there, and then I'm gonna place another connector there. Nice. Yes, give me all that stuff. <laughs> okay, research atomic printing. Now use the bauxite ore to automate the production of other items. Okay, atomic printing. Is that what this is? Yes, atomic printing tech has been researched. Ship assembly tech, oh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, attach a connector to the cargo hold. Okay, press R to rotate the connector. So we need... Oh! Oh, I see. Yeah, connector out the other end. Okay, well, that's not hard. Done. Turds coming out the cargo hold because the cargo hold is starting to fill up. <laughs> oh, man. Let's craft an atomic printer to use the ore from our mining structure. Okay. Atomic printer. Atomic printer kind of felt like the end game... There we go. Of things. like, But I guess it's one of the lower level like uh, devices. Okay. E. Atomic print me something. What? I don't know yet. The flame icon in the atomic indicates that the structure gets hot. And there's some sort of station unstable. It needs a station core or additional struts to operate. Stability needed to two. Okay. Probably because I put too many connectors here. Which I shouldn't have done. Okay. We'll fix that. The flame icon, which we don't see yet, indicates structure gets hot. E heat exchangers, heat exchanger and craft. Okay, but I kind of feel, guys, can I make a, I need to make one of these. What do I need? Robotic parts, AI controller circuit, or some more struts. Is that a thing? Oh boy. I think I've over, I, you know what? Oh, this is me again. This is classic me. This is classic me. I overbuild. I did it again. Craft a strut. Structs connect structures and increase stability between connected structures. Okay, so they're just like giving me stuff one at a time, I guess. Okay, give me more. Uh... 
Oh, that's the... Uh, uh, okay, I guess it's going to take some more box from the connector here. We're slowly building what we need to make struts so we can strutify this whole thing. So does this mean every time I move to a new sector, I'm going to have to rebuild all of this? But I guess the idea is that you, it's, it gets pretty fast because you're just grabbing what you need and then do, 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 do. Uh, okay, do we have struts yet? We got some struts. Five struts. And what am I doing? Place the strut against the mining station so one of the gray ends is attached. One of the gray ends, eh? Oh, mining station. Uh, I don't know what the gray... It must be this. Okay, so let's go, like, this way. Okay, follow the indicator for the nearby silica asteroid. Hold right. Collect the ore before it disappears. Oh, because we need to build a station core. Okay. Is this helpful? Is this creating more stability? <laughs> I don't think so. Can I make... Okay, wait, hang on. we got to figure out this strut situation. I want to do the struts before I go do other stuff. Oh, it's not letting me make more. I need more iron ore. Okay. Maybe the strut needs to connect to the cargo bay. Right-click, take that back. E, cargo strut, rotate. Is there... Do I need, like, a T-intersection strut or something? This strut doesn't seem to be doing anything. What was I supposed to do with the struts? They were just like, just do it. Maybe these aren't connected to anything. What if the strut connects to the uh, station? I, here's the thing. I wager they're about to explain what the strut is and how useful it is, like, in a bit. But I'm just trying to jump the gun here. Uh, okay, hang on. What about this way? Is there not a way to make it... Or is there a tab or some way to make it, uh, whoa, cool. Uh, some way to make it like, uh, like a variation of its construction? Because right now I want it to attach to that other strut. But it doesn't seem to be interested in attaching to anything. All right, well, let's go mine that silica. And we'll get a station core and figure that out. Follow the indicator near the silica. You know what I should have done? Watch the video. I really should have done the video. I wasn't paying attention to the video option. I really like that feature. Watch a video is really clever. The only issue is uh, I, I haven't seen that a lot, having embedded tutorial videos. So now I'm like, oh, I'm forgetting that that's an option that's out there. But I'll have to remember. All right, silica ore. There we go. We're all siliced up. We're all rizzed up, full of silica. Head back to our new base. Open the crafting menu, make a station core. Make me... What am I missing? How might I be missing stuff? Single station core will add stability. Open the crafting menu. Oh no, what am I missing? I'm missing something. <laughs> oh no. Make it. Uh, raw resources, iron. Okay, that's fine. I think we have iron fully built up at my iron base here. Yeah, it's probably full. Give me that. Give me all that iron. Okay. Uh, now I can make one. Oh, I can make four. Okay. We come back here. We have to put a station core somewhere. Uh, connect a station core to a mining station. Okay, I'm going to watch now. Station core, yes. Connect it to... With the mining sta With the struts. Okay, that's what the struts are for, I guess. All right, give me this. Take these back. Okay, give me the struts. Let's get past the solar panel array. And let's station core this bad boy, which is there. Sick! Oh, we're low on s solar panels. All right, don't worry, I got some more here. Let's go like here, here. Maybe we didn't need two. All right, well, the other strut attached to the bauxite mining station. So I did do that. Place the station core on the other end of a strut attached to the bauxite mining station. Straight up did that, but I still have this like issue with the strength of everything. Maybe what I need to do is shrink all this down. This is the new plan. Sorry, everything I was building. What's that? Oh, inventory box. Okay. All right. So now let's let's go back to our core here. So we're gonna go with a uh, cargo hold closer this time, then a uh, connector out, and then an atomic builderizer right there. Oh, they're mad at me again. Okay. I gotta figure out this strut situation. It needs a station core or additional struts to operate. So, but the, do the struts just, like, attach 
You know what I mean? Like, do they just attach off themselves? Let's try that. All right, there we go. I've just moved this closer. So I had too many struts. One, two, three struts away. Uh, that created something. I don't know what it was. It was, it, was, uh, it was just not working for them. They didn't like it. Let's go get a solar panel on the end of here since we've rebuilt it now. So I don't fully understand the strut situation, but at the same time, it's starting to make a little bit of sense. Like, I, I get, I think what they're going for, that there are limits to our, uh, like, how far things can be placed, I guess, is maybe what that's telling me. I don't know if I need another solar panel for that, but there we go. Print low-density structures from your atomic printer. All right, atomic printer. Uh, what is that? That's this, I think. Medium density. Low-density structure recipe. Oh, it's making a lot of them, eh? Um, so, and then we just, we go, I have to go around collecting everything. Fly, okay, place a mi the mining station near the signal area. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Wait, let's, let's go and pick up a bunch of the, uh, yeah, just in case we need it to get this mining station up and running. And then do not, do I have one? Oh yeah, we already had one. Okay, anyway. So we can build one while we're on the way over to the silica. So it wants me to start mining, mining base silica styles. Mining station over here. How much further out can we go? Like, let's go this far out. You need more minerals. Okay, hook me up with a strut right in the middle this time. And then we're gonna go stage core. Let's make a stage core, please. And I'm gonna go one of these here, and that's gonna go to a uh, cargo hold. Cargs. Cargs goes in there. Stage core goes here. Now we need to make a bunch of mining robots. So let's go ro working robots. Now let's make uh, one, two, three, four, I believe, is the max that can go in here. Give, give, give. Keep giving. And give. There we go. So we got four max there. No power just yet. So let's see if I do solar panels. What I'm wondering is if I can I just add solar panels on this and will it power everything? So click, click. Yeah, it seems to power everything. So that's nice. So here I want to put, okay, from your silica mining structure, build another full station. Oh, for heaven's sake. Build another full space station. Okay. Oh, I just did it. I just did it. Select solid state from the new atomic printer. Okay. 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 All right, so we're, I'm on top of it. I understand what's happening. So the connectors just send resources. Then the atomic printer here, not, oh, hang on, that's not the atomic printer. I need to make this thing. The atomic printer does, it, it printifies um, whatever that level of structure is. As long as things keep going through connectors. Okay, I'm running low on power, so I'll get a couple more solar panels on there. Uh, I, I can only make one more. That's, let's see if that's enough. I think it is enough on the other one. And then we need that heat sink, of course, as well. Can I get it in, in the middle? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And then heat sink me. Pow. Turn this on. And I would like you to make some... What's it? Solid state lasers. Solid state laser recipe. Begin. Uh-oh. We got a problem. This is going the wrong way. Can I change its direction? Uh, wait, this one's going the wrong way. Perhaps. I didn't know there was a direction. Of course there's a direction. There we are. Oh yeah, look at all that gross goo. Silica, rather. Um, We did it! Try Control-C and pasting Control-V to speed up the process. Wait, what did I have to Control-C and V? Oh, Control-C, Control-V... What is the control C V? Oh. Oh. Control C brings up a copy window. You select all this. Bingo bango. Very cool. That's really good to know. Craft an inserter. Space stations cannot be too big or they become unstable. Bots can help move items between space stations so they don't get too large. Craft an inserter bot. Oh my goodness, this is getting out of hand. All right, inserter bot. Oh, what do I need for you? I need a bit more iron. Let's head over to my iron mining situation, which is, you know what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Control C. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Build that. And then we'll do a strut out this. Okay, we don't have enough stuff. <laughs> okay, but did you guys get some stuff for me? Thank you. 
Okay, uh, what do we need? An inserter bot. So to do the inserter bot, I can now make two of these. Uh, also structures. Let's make two of these, one of these, a couple of connectors, a heat sink. Because once we've built all that stuff, it'll get automatically added to this control C to control V situation. All right, inserters move items from one building to another in a path. Select the insert from your inventory. Rotate the inserter so arrows are moving away from the atomic printer at the silica asteroid. Okay, but wait, I'm just going to get this build first. I think I need to build whatever that is. I need to build the uh, atomic printer. Here it is. Well, it's a lot of components, eh? There we are. And now we can leave this. Although I don't know what they're going to make here. Maybe we didn't need the atomic printer. <laughs> Oh, we don't have a ship core. Okay, but I have I have built one. Okay, so we'll have a ship core right here. And we're going to go to this thing right here. There we go. And then we're going to go with our solar panel. We'll put it right here. There we are. All right. So now you have everything you need, but we don't... I don't know why I built that here, but we're, you know, we're learning. We're still learning, okay? The cargo bay is taking all this, so I'm going to take that iron and head back to the old silica base. And figure out what it wants me to do. The, the tutorial is fun. This is very... This is a... I can see getting very hooked on this game. And maybe that's my fault that I'm bad at Factorio type games. Like, maybe I just need to learn how to be good at it. Okay, E. Um, uh, where are you? This thing? Okay, so wait. Uh, moving away from the atomic printer. Like so. Rotate the arrows. Okay, good. Place the inserter. Okay, so we have our inserter attached. Research cargo logistics. All right, let's research cargo logistics because space is large. Oh, oh my goodness, a whole cargo port. We're going to have to build a whole cargo logistics. Okay, this is great. Logistics bays can send or receive items from other space stations using certain ships. Craft a bay. Or is that just going to go right into the inserter? It might. Logistics bay recipe. Okay, let's do it. Um, what did it say we were missing? We need more robotics parts. Oh, the raw resources. Let's go get some iron while we're waiting. Place legit. Okay, well, I guess we can just do that. So it receives solid state lasers, which are being made over here. Okay. So it's going to receive these. Oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense to me. But do we attach it to the place? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> yeah, the insert. Oh, in the way of the inserter. So we don't need to. Why can't it be connected? Why can't wait? Why do we need the inserter if we can't just um, have the have a tube fill? Anyway, point is, we'll just put it here, I guess. And we want it to to uh, or whatever. We'll worry about that in a second. So we need a solar panel here. Do I have any? I have one. Okay. And you start to fill up with solid state lasers. Cargo drones can carry items longer distances, but can only pick up and drop off at logistics bays. Craft a single cargo drone. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need iron. Let's go back to my iron situation. And space bar. And space bar. <laughs> See now this we could have had them building something else, but I don't know what I don't think this was I don't think I needed to build that, is what I'm saying. Give me that iron. Alright, let's craft me a cargo drone, please. Head back and go and donate him to this ship here. All right. Okay. Connect the cargo drone to the logistics bay. Make sure the arrows are moving and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cargo. Okay, wait. Cargo. Oh, man. Tell me it's going to look. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like a cargo. Oh, that's great. Okay. So I think we can. Yeah. It looks like it connects to it. So let's do that here. Oh, cool. Craft another logistics display and place it on the path of the cargo drone. Wait, out, all the way out there? Oh man, this is going to take forever. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so intricate. <laughs> this is a lot. I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying myself, but it is a, it is a lot going on. All right, so then we have to do the same. I mean, obviously you get better at it, I assume, is the kind of the, uh, you know, what they're trying to tell me here is that you're going to get better at it. So let's make one of those. Then I know we need to make another one of these. And we need an inserter bot, which I have I have one. Intermediaries. So these are the lower things. I don't need those yet. So And we need another solar panel. Let's make two more of those. 
Let's collect more of these raw resources. I guess the idea is eventually you automate this, you control C and control V yourself so that you don't need to be constantly going and collecting raw resources. You have it all coming to like a central location or something. Um, okay, 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 this thing. And we need to put it in just in the path of it. And then we need, oh, hello. And then we need uh, one of these. Make sure the connector is located to be taking items from the bay. It certainly is, and it's filling up. Way more. Way more than a than a cargo bay would. Like these little this little cargo hold. I wish this would I wish these could fly longer distances, because then you'd see more cargo traffic. And then this would be more like Anno uh, meets space meets Factorio. Uh cra craft and uh, connect a uh, uh, blah blah blue. So c connector. Do I have any? No, I don't. And to get some iron. Okay. Craft a connector. Make sure the connector is rotated between. Okay. <sighs> okay, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here, folks. What do you have? 20 iron. You guys are. Are you mining? How many? Zero, four. Where'd all my mining ships go? Are they stuck here? What happened to my mining ships? Were they destroyed? Or did I never have them? Hmm. No, I'm sure I had them. Okay, we need to solve this. It's got a miner bot recipe. Something happened. Maybe I hit the wrong button and it took them away. Um, somebody's going to tell me in the comments what I did wrong and, and where it went. Uh, okay, how many... What do I need for that? Uh, a lot of silica. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Oh, this is the silica. I'm going to maybe mine... What was that? I saw that explosion. And we've lost a, a bot. Oh, okay. Let me go get my some of my own silica here. Yeah, I'm seeing some, like, I'm seeing some drama happening. Like, a bot's getting destroyed every so often. So I maybe have to go around maintaining these things, or maybe I'm missing attacks that are happening, and I need to be defending my bad boys. My little miney boys. All right, give me a couple of miners. So one here. One, two, three here. Was that another one died? No. I'm getting attacked from something. I, I, so there needs to be, like, a, an alarm sound, like, a, like, like, you're being attacked. Or there needs to be some kind of, like... Okay, you're maxed out. Good. There needs to be some kind of, um, maybe like StarCraft, like your units are under it. You know what I mean? Like it needs to tell me that that's, that there's some drama breaking out. Uh, are you making another one? I did order more than that. Come along now. There we are. Thank you. Yes, get me my iron. Collect me for me my iron. All right. Now, what were we supposed to do? Connector to the receiving logistics bay. Okay, connector. Uh, oh, got to make some. Oh, the music is back, and it's quite lovely. Some good um, past-the-time music, I guess you could call that. Oh, my mining bot didn't con connect. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to connect this, and it's going away from the logistics bay. Research ship assembly. Okay, let's do that. Ship assembly. What are these other things, by the way? We've got defense platforms, bat damage, antimatter power tech. Logistics management tech. Oh my goodness, this is going to be nuts. Craft a ship assembler. Gonna automate the production of ships like mining bots and bats. Oh, this is... Okay, because they're getting destroyed or something. Uh, I need a bunch of iron ore. Just got to go all the way back here. That's what's going on. They're getting destroyed in a way that's like... I'm. Yeah, I don't want to have to keep up with it. So that's what this guy's going to be doing. So this is another station, I guess, we're building out here. Uh, did you make me one? What do I need? More iron? What happened to the iron I, m I brought over? Oh, it's making it. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Receive solid state lasers from the logistics bay. Okay. It's going to need power. I'm sure of it. And a heat sink. Okay. You are expensive. Let's make a heat sink. Attach this to it. Got our heat sink. Very cool. Okay. So it's going to... Okay, wait. Hang on. Fly the ship and make sure the power... Open its menu. Select the working ship and select minor bots. So it's doing that with solid state lasers. But what else does it need? Oops. Looks like we also need low density structures to automate the minor bots. Using what we've learned about moving items, get low density structures to the ship assembler. Be mindful that stability is hard capped. 
but you will likely need to use inserters or cargo drones. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We've got to get from the, over here. We have. Oh, sorry. Let me get there. Also, yeah, all the mining drone bots are gone. My goodness, what's that all about? Okay, so we need to get. Uh, give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Wait, how many do we have? Output 16. So we need to get all of these uh, low-density structures down to here somehow. We're going to have to use a bunch of the... I'm going to need to make a bunch of solar panels and stuff. All right, I'm going to collect my own raw resources just so I have, like, a bank here. Space bar. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, there we go. All right, so I've built enough resources that I think I should be able to get this done. I might need more cargo drones and inserters and whatnot than I currently have. But I think what I need to do is get these... Uh, low density structures out this way and then straight down but I might have to build it like I might almost want to build it backwards so I'm going to go like control C I wonder if I can build backwards I don't know if it's going to let me so I'm going to go like this there okay go build all that okay it's got structural problems so I think that means I need another structural core or something right uh, let's see power to it and What's the warning? Station core. So I need a station core here, which makes sense. Like this is a this is getting pretty big. So we're gonna go station core, and then we'll go with a strut, I think, to there. There we are. Okay. So now she doesn't have the power, but she's 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 working. Uh, let's go solar panel here and here. Okay, it's working. It's going to receive whatever I send to it. So at the end of this station here, oh, this is gonna, yo, that lines up perfectly. I don't know if it did that by accident or not. Okay, so let's go down here and we basically need to copy and paste, uh, oh, just this, I think. Oh, and an inserter. So we need control C. We're gonna copy and paste this little situation with the inserter. Love it. See if we can place it there. We might not be able to, but what if, I just wanna see, like what happens if we go there so hopefully that works cargo ship he goes back he collects that so what if hear me out we do this inserter we just get a um some some pathways or something like what would that what would ha maybe we put another cargo hold there or something let's go and see what happens if we go with this here one more hmm what's this telling me connector needs a filter to allow items through. Click to set. Okay. Set filter. Uh, that stuff. Low density structures. Okay, now we're low on power, which we kind of saw coming. That's fine. So we'll go here. Okay, so that didn't uh, seem to work because maybe the atomic printer, like maybe there needs to be a hold here. Uh, they just can't be pulled out of a connector. So I'm going to right click and take that away. And what if I put a cargo hold here? Is that something that would talk to this guy? Let's take that away. Let's put a cargo hold here fill that up and then let's get an insert bot right here yeah I feel like that's enough okay let's see if that works so he goes there we go that's working okay there we go so he's loading this up with uh, those soft materials or whatever and our cargo ship doesn't feel like going there yet <laughs> maybe it's too maybe it's not as good as we thought or maybe we just have to reset it like literally just rebuild it like we just did with this guy or are we one off? I think according to the grid, we're one off. So, okay, well, is this solvable with this thing? I don't know. Here and cargo hold. Build me one. It's going to take a while. And we might need some more structural support here once we build this cargo hold. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Cargo hold. Not enough power. Solar panel. Solar panel. Hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe the cargo hold doesn't fix everything that I want to fix, but maybe also just like rebuilding him does. Let's try that. Doesn't seem to be working. I think he only talks to... I think he only talks to the logistics bay could be the issue. So we might actually need to put another one in the middle here just to keep things moving, but I still want to keep trying this and see if it works. Yeah, see that connects, but then it just might not quite make it there. It looks like, uh, yeah, see, it looks like it's just a bit out of range. I really thought it was all going to work. It really felt like it was going to all work. So now I need to build another one of these bad boys. Okay, yeah, so he's happy with that situation. Logistics Bay. Uh, 
seems to have stopped working. Oh, this guy. Oh, because we're out of mining bots. So there's nothing being made. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay, well, what if I just want to see if this works. So what if we load this cargo bay and I throw some in there? Okay, yeah, so that's still working. He loads up. Is he going to make it all the way? No. So we literally just need to make another hop point. Okay, that's so annoying. Okay, well, let's make some more bots so they keep mining. Uh, apparently these bots... I must have missed that somewhere where it says, by the way, these guys love to explode. Or they, maybe they went on strike. They might have just been like, these conditions are horrible, so we're actually just going to do our own thing. They're probably mining somewhere upstate now where they get higher wages and they can mine from home. <laughs> All right, so we attach this here. Oh, he's happy to deliver to that. Let's go ahead and get those two there, which we maybe didn't need two of them, but I don't know. It just kind of looks nice. And then this here should attach to that. He bring oh, fills up real fast, brings him over here, unloads. This thing is running low on power, so let's get another solar panel or two made um, and attach it somewhere off the bottom here, maybe. Like so. There we are. So now you've got power, and now I believe you are... Mi oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Craft a fleet navigation center. You know, to help your crafted ships get to where they want to go. Okay, so wait. What am I going to do? Yes, I know how to make it, but what I'm saying is... Where do I put it? Okay, here. It builds in the video. And it gets placed. Just sort of... Oh, interesting. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's kind of a big deal. Place centers to connect the mining stations. Fleet navigation centers can connect created ships across a network to where those ships are needed. We want your fleet navigation centers to supply mining bots to all your mining stations. Try and place the navigation center so the arrows point to your mining bot ship assemblers and all your mining stations. Oh, man. I have to extend my network probably. Okay. One of these. Oh, no, we don't. We can do it. Wait. Yes. Build. Cool. Oh, we need uh, some solar panels on that thing. Uh, let's solar panel it up. Yo, this thing is... That's a really cool design. I wonder if things will go to it and then, like, from there... One solar panel is all that's needed, maybe? Open the technology panel and research asteroid science. Research. Place research station near an asteroid and power it. Make sure your ship assembler is connected to your logistics network via the flow. Oh, my fair heaven's sake. <laughs> okay, research station. Make me one. Um, this is, I guess, the issue with, with a factorial type game for me, right? So here's what it is. It's like, uh, oh, what if I want to build a, a station that looks aesthetically pleasing? What if I want to make a cool Deep Space Nine type looking station? And then they go, well, you kind of just need to build this mishmash of things that you need to get stuff done. Your symbol is connected to your logistics network via Fleet Navigation Center. So this is the Fleet Navigation Center. Make sure my ship assembler is connected, which it is. Asteroid research is mostly placed near asteroids. Okay, so I'll just do this. Like so. And then we power, power it with some solar panels. So, like, but will do I? Can I say this though? This is very cool. Still. Oh wait. Well, okay. How do I place that? Um, I'm still finding this to be a, a very cool looking uh, game. Uh, not connected to another station. Make sure to line up. Oh, it probably doesn't connect right to this thing. Power modules. Okay. Um, but the question remains: of like, maybe this is how I attach it. Oh, okay, that's one way to do it. Okay. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, the question remains of, like, how grindy will this be or how easily will this scale up to massive productions? Uh, or is that just what I, I, I as... Uh, is, this is my issue with Factorio-type games, is, like, I start to play this and I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get why I'm just rebuilding constantly. <laughs> and he did say... It did say once we use up all the resources, we move on. So there's 90,000 left here, 89,000 and 91,000 resources. So once those are gone, do we can we just control C and control V the whole like do we rebuild in another spot from scratch? We got to start all this again. Again, maybe that's that reason I don't like factorio builders is is another person who loves factorio might be like, "Yeah, you do. You get to build it all again." You can add research bots to the research station in the same way you added mining drones to the mining station. Remember, research bots have a limited working lifetime and will self-destruct. So that's what it is. You must complete, continually reproduce them to automate research. 
Mouse over the tooltip to see what additional resources you need. Okay, so we need... Oh, we can make a bunch of these guys. Okay, how many can you hold? Four. So let's make uh, two more. And you guys are going to go and get me some research. Oh, that looks so cool. I will say, like, the style of... I love how the sun glints off the solar panels like that. The style of gameplay is really fun, though. Like, the art style is awesome. And the... Uh, and, and the bit, like, you know, it's all very intuitive. And I imagine a, a, a player... Unlike myself, like a player would be, maybe a, a factorial player would be more into this kind of style. I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm just kind of curious. So this is going to send things where they're needed. I know it says open the map, but I just want to solve this. No available logistics stations, but I might have to figure that out later. Let's hit M and open them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this shows, you can use the scroll wheel and the cursor. To, oh my goodness. Okay, this is, oh boy, <laughs> this is large. There's a lot going on in this world, and I still haven't even figured out the creation of bots. Oh wait. No, it is working. You have proven Something's... yourself capable of wielding this sector. Only large stepping stones will oh. be given as guidance from here. A leviathan lurks somewhere oh. in this space. Build the dark stargate and send more of you through into the unknown <laughs> so that we may continue the great assimilation of the universe. I don't want to build more dark stargates. <laughs> I'm so scared. We've completed the tutorial. Press the skip button below to proceed. We have completed the tutorial. What I've learned is it's no available logistics stations means no available places for them to go. So everywhere I go has all four of the intended and needed robots. This, all the asteroid research stations are gone, though. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. So, I mean, this is a lot of fun. We've got this little design going here. This is obviously the tutorial level, so I think things are going to get much more complicated than that. I, I'm, I hope it's not going to get into, like, workers and resources level where you're just like, oh my goodness, like, so much little... Ah, that's so cool to see. It's replenishing them. Okay. So that was... This is working as intended, so it's happy. Um, so it's, yeah, it's gonna be really easy, it was really fun to see kind of like where this goes. Uh, my goodness, it's taking a while to build all of them, but I guess it's building one at a time or something. Wait, are you not getting your... I thought I was making the right bots. Oh, I'm making stations. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching a person who doesn't know how to play these games play it. There's a lot of controls down here I haven't even, like maybe gotten into and there's a lot of fighting a lot of combat that we haven't done let's skip the tutorial producer oh there's another the tutorial continues Produ research bots from ship assemblers okay so there's a lot left to do there's a lot left to uncover in this game this is really fascinating uh and it is coming out soon so you too can play the demo uh if you would like to if you really like it wish list it subscribe to my channel Hopefully you found this to be some truly solid content. And I will see you all in the next episode of Factorio in Space or whatever else it is we play on this channel. Also, a quick channel update. Tune in for some upcoming live streams because maybe this channel is back, kind of, in terms of me having a bit more time to do it. <laughs> Bye!